Hello and welcome back. This time we are going to discuss the difference between linear position measurement and rotary position measurement. This is very short to explain because basically there is no difference. It's just either you change the rotary movement into some linear movement with the use of a gearbox or something like this. Yeah. Or you can just use the principle scales to rotary things. Yeah. It's not that complicated as it looks because last time we already talked about this capacitive method. Yeah. There's a rotary measurement, there's a linear measurement. Before we also talked about what's in symmetric measurement. There's a linear measurement possible, and of course, we also had this rotary measurement. Yeah. Then we talked about these optical things. Yeah. We talked about these incremental absolute things. Yeah. And of course, we had also in our Arduino, we had our rotary encoder, this thing. This is exactly the same principle like this, but turning. Okay? So a lot of a lot of these things, the mentioned things, does have a possibility of measure also rotary things. Yeah? So you can measure angle or we can measure linear way. A very usual rotary rotary measurement is also like this one. Yeah, it's also like this one, but is looking like this. There's the shaft of some machine. Yeah, there's a shaft. And we are at technical school. Make look at technical. We can think of applying a magnet band here around with always south poles and in between of course we would have the corresponding north poles okay. and we just have to set a coil or something like this yeah, here and count how many north and south poles are coming yeah. rotary yeah. this is also often used to measure spin, yeah? measure the rotations per minute, yeah? magnet band, there are, there are magnets band out there which are very very, where this separation here is very fine, however it's not that accurate like optical systems let's say, yeah? if it's just, if it's just about measuring the speed, yeah, we can even do some mechanical trick, yeah? Draw another shaft. We can use a so called tooth disc. Yeah. Tooth disc, okay. And we can use some proximity switches here on the side and see if they are switched or not. Yeah. Tooth disc. If we're using a second, a second one, we can even distinguish in which direction this thing is moving. Yeah. Rotary, rotary position or angular. But you see, basically these things here are the same principle like this thing here. Yeah. This is optical, also the same principle like this. You see, there is not much difference in those things. Okay. This is why my statement is, if you measure angle or if you measure linear way, it does not really matter. Of each uh, principle, you would have pretty sure you have both possibilities yeah, by the corresponding sensor and make it so. So that's about position, position, way, measurement. Yeah. Next time we are talking about force force and torque measurement. For this time, thank you very much for listening. 
and goodbye.